What's up everyone, we're about to jump into the Musketeer Challenge here. This is going to be a ton of fun, I'm already liking it better than the Valkyrie Challenge because I kind of like the Musketeer. So right here is a Draft Challenge, so we're going to go ahead and take the Prince over the Barbarians. Just because. And then, what do I want? Do I want the Cannon or the Goblin Hut? We'll just take the Cannon. And right here, Me Minion or Mega Minion, we'll just go ahead and take the Mega Minion. And then, uh, Bowler for sure. We'll take the Bowler, let him have the free spell. So we'll just remember that he does have that in case he has a Hog Rider or something. I don't even think I had an option for a Musketeer, but it looks like he gave me a Musketeer. So there we go. We're just going to drop a Musketeer off here in the back. And I feel like we have a pretty good push. We got Bowler, Prince. Basically, the Prince is going to be our main push. So here we go. He's going to fireball it. So we're going to put a uh, Bowler in front. Just to keep that musketeer alive. Never mind, the prince is going to kill it. So now here comes. So there's the uh, barbarians I gave him, but we should be able to take care of them. Um, I'm not going to arrow that. If I had a log, it'd be nice. But come on, just kill the princess. If you kill the princess, I'll be happy. There we go. Yes, kill the princess. So we'll just go ahead and drop this mega minion. Try to stop a little bit of the damage. And I do believe he'll have to counter that unless he wants to take some of the damage from it. Alright, so there we go. He's going to put that Goblin Hut right there. We do have the Rocket, so we'll just go ahead and Rocket that and get it out of here. There we go. Getting some damage on the tower. He's just going to go in and push really hard because he knows we just used a lot of Elixir. But that Musketeer is going to do a pretty good job at that. Oh, don't hit it. Oh, uh, I was hoping she would walk out of the way just in time, but no, he must have clipped her shoe. <clears throat> clipped, clipped her. No, he clipped her shoelace. That's how close it was. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and just drop this bowler off here in the back. And there we go. <clears throat> and then we'll just get ready for another push. Oh man, really? He's going to put the princess on the bridge, sieging me. So we'll just go ahead and drop this because I don't want to take too much damage. She's going to get three shots off. But there we go. Now we got our push all together. If he had a fireball right now, it would have been really good for him. But he didn't. We're just going to arrow all this down. And right there, that Mega Minion and Bowler should be able to do pretty good, and he's going to freeze it. So that means the Mega Minion is going to die. Using the freeze on offense, he should be pretty close to out of Elixir. And right there, that Bowler is going to go in and do some great damage. Come on, one more shot. There we go, putting us in the lead for a second. Never mind. The Princess is going to go ahead and put him back in the lead, but there is no problem with that. So there we go. He's going to Fireball, but we're going to keep our Musketeer alive. And... Put the prince and all that in there. Now, come on, kill it all. The musketeer. Oh, man, the musketeer died. Anyways, there we go. The mega minions can kind of take out them. And that prince should charge on the tower. All right, he's not going to charge. Nope, he's not going to charge. All right, but he is going to stab it twice. And then that mega minion should be able to go ahead and take it all the way out. See if that mega minion can make it to the... There we go. Let's see if the musketeer can make it. No, it won't, but he's going to put a baby dragon down. And that musketeer will be able to do some work on that. There we go. Take it just about completely out. I'm not sure what he's fireballing at this point, but we're going to arrow all this and take everything out with arrows. There we are. Three seconds left. Looking like it's going to be our first victory. Put the poison down for the first time on this game. And there we are. All right. And give him a good game. And then we can go get our one-time rewards, which is like three musketeers. But anyways, how did y'all guys do on the epic challenge? I, uh, I got nine wins. I went nine, two on it, but I was out of town and could not record it or anything. So that's why I didn't make a video on that one, but I really did enjoy playing the epic challenge. That was pretty fun. So let me know how you did on it. And I'm hoping to have more challenges like that, but these are also fun just to throw in and have a little bit of fun with. And right here, I think we're going to go ahead and take the barbarians just this time. And then, oh... Uh, I guess I'm going to let him have the minion horde. I know that minion horde can sometimes bite you if I don't get anything good. Um, right here, I don't have a log or anything, so I'm going to go ahead and just take the princess. That way he doesn't have it and he won't be sieging me at the tower constantly. And right here, I'm not even going to pick it. I'm just going to let it pick for me and see what we get right there. We're going to get the knight over the baby dragon, which I'm fine with. So here we go. Now we got the Dark Prince and the Goblin Barrel. If he has his Fireball, he'll use it, but hopefully he doesn't have it in hand. So we're going to go ahead and do this really fast and see if we can go get some damage. 
I know that was really aggressive for a first push, but right there is going to go ahead and take the tower pretty far down. So I'm pretty happy with what we just did there. And shoot one more time for me, princess. There we go. Now drop this prince off right there to take out that musketeer. Really don't need that damage. And goodness, this deck is expensive. Everything is a <laughs> five elixir and a ball right now in my hand. And then the prince, I believe it's what, five elixir? I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But anyways... We got a, a very expensive deck in either way you look at it. So now, I'm just going to go ahead and throw this wizard down. And then we'll put the Dark Prince with it. And the Dark Prince is basically our pushing troop. And yes, there we go. It will stay alive. So we'll just go ahead and put the Dark Prince down the front. Get a Goblin Barrel ready and do the exact same thing. But here he comes. Oh, he's defending it pretty well. So there we go. The Goblin in the back is doing some damage. We got a little bit of damage off. Not too much. But he did have a lot there to defend with. And we'll just go ahead and drop some Barbarians on that Musketeer. It's not overkill at all. <laughs> so there we go. There's the Barbarian. Oh man, I let it lock onto the tower. Oh well. So now let's see if the Barbs actually make it to the tower at all. That baby dragon is doing a pretty good job on them. But they did make it to the tower. And now we just got this baby dragon rolling in that we got to take care of. I'll just drop this wizard right over here. And that should take it out pretty easy. Now I really need to load up on some elixir. Maybe I shouldn't have countered that baby dragon. Considering my deck is so expensive. But double elixir time is when we're going to shine. And look at that. The wizard's just going to ignore that tombstone and walk in. And hello balloon. Oh boy, now we got electro wizard. Can we hit the electro wizard? Yeah, we hit it all. There we go. All that taken out with a rocket there. Good thing I had the rocket. If I did not have the rocket, we would have been in a little bit of trouble. Alrighty, we're going through this goblin barrel over here and hopefully take that tower out. There we go. It took it out. Now, we just got to take care of this musketeer and defend for a little while. I believe we can defend this tower. It's still up pretty strong. So, I'm just going to go ahead and throw this princess down the back. And here is a balloon. Our rocket's not ready yet, but I believe that wizard will go ahead and take it out. I don't need a rocket. And then we got a little bit of stuff coming in, but we're just going to throw this Dark Prince down and a Witch right here to take out that baby dragon. And that Dark Prince was just for distraction, basically. But anyways, we're just going to throw this Prince down right here to take out the Electro Wizard. Time is running down. We're about to hit 10 seconds. There we are. And look at all that right there. Just going to swarm up together and I'll be able to take it out super simple right there with the... Uh, princess and wizard splash damage and there we go there's gonna be our second win in this challenge 2-0 there we are now we can grab some more of our one-time rewards which I'm not even sure I think it's six musketeers you know you don't get too much for it but I really think it's just for fun I mean hey look we got our crown chest we'll go ahead and open that up as well <clears throat> so here we go oh it's five musketeers but I was saying I think it's just for fun really not really the rewards but here we are, we're going to go ahead and open up this crown chest and get 606 gold, 2 gems, which makes me the grand total of 3 gems. <laughs> Alright, here we go, we got Zaps, a Minion Horde, 39 Minion Horde, pretty good, and Inferno Tower. So no epics out of that one, but that's alright. And then, we'll just go back over here and jump into our last one, that was the Golem deck I was playing around with. I've been playing a lot in challenges, I'm, I've been playing Mortar a lot in the oh hey look we got a golem so we're gonna take tornado and golem and then i'm gonna take the musketeer because we're playing the musketeer challenge for goodness sakes and then we'll take an ice spirit because it's already a pretty heavy deck <clears throat> an ice spirit you can't go wrong with it helps out a lot so let's see what we get here i was hoping to get like a splash damage unit Princess is good, that way I have the tornado, but check it out, we have the balloon and expo. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with the expo. I'm thinking I'll just put it on defense for the most part, not really put it out there to, to siege the tower. But I don't really want to put the golem down because I have no idea what he's got. He could have elite barbs or whatever, so we're just going to go ahead and throw a lone balloon down. And see, I'm not sure, I don't think that'll make it. Will it? Nope. It will not make it, but it will explode on the tower and take out the musketeer and still get pretty good damage off. Freeze that lumberjack and he gets no swings. So we did really good on that. Got some pretty good damage off the balloons uh, bomb that it drops when it dies. But we're going to go ahead and just throw this golem out. I haven't seen anything he's thrown out too bad yet. So there we go. We're going to throw that down and he did not rush us with anything. That's what I always worry about. I'm so glad I did not give him the tornado. Executioner tornado would have killed me. 
Alrighty, so there we go. The princess is going to take out them spear goblins. Awesome. So now he's got that tassel that we're going to have to go through. And I could put the expo down. You know what? We'll go ahead and put the expo down because it'll actually help out with the musketeer and executioner over there. So let the expo hurry up and lock on. There we go. First time using the expo. Not real. In this deck, it wouldn't be worth putting it at the bridge and trying to siege. It just wouldn't do anything. And executioner does not get a throw off. Awesome. So now we're just going to go ahead and throw, start, well, start a slow balloon in the back and see what we're going to do here. I feel like the only thing that's been getting damaged is the balloon. We put the golem down, but I feel like in double elixir time when we can get golem balloon, that should do pretty good. I was going to tornado, but when he put those spear goblins down, we just wouldn't have made any difference. But anyways, what do you think about it? The new update is out with balance update. And the uh, balloon uh, takes two seconds to shoot. Uh, let's pull you back here. There we go. The balloon has a delay now on the bomb. It doesn't just instantly blow up and kill your troops. I think it'll help out a little bit, but going up against the Lava Helm balloon, it really ain't gonna make that much of a difference. But right here, we're in double elixir time, so now it's time to put our push together and get the balloon down over top here. There we are. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this princess down because we need to get that tussle out of the way and that. Uh, wizard there now we got 30 seconds i'm going to try to pull this wizard back so it does not shoot my balloon and it still shoots it that was the longest shot i've ever seen a wizard make but he did it so now the we still got a little bit of damage because of the bomb but no 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 oh my gracious the lumberjack just passed my golem that's not going to be good we're just gonna get the musketeer down in here and try to take all this out at least we did save the tower and now he's gonna fireball it zap it as well oh my gracious we're just gonna get a balloon down because we need to get some damage on this tower i already know what he's gonna try to do is fireball cycle me and i don't want any of that so here we go we got the balloon tornado you all back here there we go perfect the uh, the whiz blah, blah, the princess got it and the balloon did drop onto the tower there's so much going on i'm getting confused on what to say so here we go we're gonna put the golem down and then put this musketeer over here to take out that all we need is one more push if the balloon can make it if the balloon's bomb makes it when it dies that would be good so we just need something to get to that tower and he's just gonna go ahead and take out my musketeer and there we go, Princess, going to take out them goblins, and it looks like the balloon's going to float over their full health and give us a victory, and the Princess was logged on anyways, so that right there was shaping up to be a victory any way we looked at it. And there we are. So now we can go ahead and um, get our nine musketeers there, and then open up our chest, which won't be, you know, much. It's only like four or five cards. <laughs> but either way, it'd still be nice to have them. So, oh, it's eight musketeers. And here we go. We're going to get 310 gold, seven barbarians, and a rocket. So, pretty good. It was eight cards. And there we go. We just won the musketeer challenge. Let me know how you like the musketeer challenge. I'm pretty sure you probably won it. But right here, I'm in Challengers 2, and I've been using this deck right here on the most part on the ladder because it takes out royal giant so good but anyways if you want to see that deck again i know i made a mortar deck before um let me scroll down through here and i'll show you the uh mortar deck when it beats some of the royal giants uh i've been playing a lot of challenges lately <laughs> i haven't been all right here it is we got the mortar b level 12 royal giant mortar b level 12 royal giant right there on both of them the other one had a graveyard if we scroll down it tied Double Prince. I didn't play that one as good as I could have. And then there's more challenges. So thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more. And please let me know if you have an idea for a video. I'll see you all in the next one.